Welcome to Friday Furlough, where the Master Chief Collection is having some matchmaking issues, and my hair is not agreeing with me right now. Son of a bitch. Hello everyone and welcome to the Mental Wards Friday Furlough and uh, my name is Where Did Erica, I'm pretty sure you know who I am. Uh, anyway, back on track to the main topic. So the Master Chief Collection is having a couple issues with the matchmaking. If you don't know what the Master Chief Collection is, it is Halo. It's Halos 1 through 4, all updated a little bit more to 1080p running at 60 frames per second, which is phenomenal I might add. Campaign wise, the game is running fluently and great. Uh, there's no real problems, I haven't seen many uh, frame rate chugs or anything like that, but the only thing is the matchmaking needs a couple updates. 343 acknowledged that, they know that there is something wrong with the game, uh, they're rolling out updates as we speak trying to fix it, but pretty much the main problem with the matchmaking is it's impossible to find a game. Uh, and when you do find a game, the matchmaking is very laggy, people will be jumping back and forth and all like that, just like normal games from like early 360 days. My only thing is, I'm not extremely pissed off as most people are. I knew they were probably going to have some problems just because it's four games in one, all simultaneously working together in the matchmaking playlist, so you can be playing on Halo 2, doing SWAT, and then all of a sudden, the next game and hops to Halo 4. That's understandable because that's a lot of work to do, but also, on the other side of things, they're all on the same disc, so they probably should work together a little bit better than they do. Honestly, I feel like 343 is going to update this game as soon as possible, especially before December uh, December 29th, which is when the beta for Halo 5 starts. They're going to get it fixed. That's, that's 343, that's their main concern right now. They're not working on anything else but trying to make this thing work. But for the Chief Collection, it's, it's actually really well done. I like the way that they put everything out. Everything is unlocked from the start, uh, so you can actually do any campaign mission when you want. You can even make a playlist and do something from 1, then 3, then 2, then 4. Do it any way you want, and uh, that's it's going to be a lot of fun, and just in case if there's missions that we didn't really like, we can always skip right over them and just go to whatever we want to play. That's control. Actually, that's freedom. America. The other thing I want to talk about is the beta for Halo 5. Um, up until a couple days ago, they've been very scarce on deals for Halo 5. They haven't really said how the game exactly is going to play, or... Uh, any of the small little details or whatnot. So what they did show was a uh, gameplay video of a multiplayer session. I IGN's been doing it, Rooster Teeth's been doing it, um, for Halo Fest on the 10th, uh, right before the game actually launched on the 11th. It's really fast paced. They're going even faster than Halo 4 was, but the only thing is they're making it so not everyone has like maybe a different armor ability from someone else. Everyone has the same armor abilities. And it's not just like, oh, well, you can sprint, maybe do some jetpacking. Yes, there's jetpacking and sprinting, but there's also mantling ledges when you're jetpacking, so you kind of don't just miss that jump and then you can't really do anything. Uh, there's also strafing from side to side, uh, pausing in mid-air while you're uh, jumping, and maybe if you want to shoot someone or stop or maybe just go back a little bit, maybe you went too far. Uh, you can do that and it kind of lets you hover for a little bit. Also the other thing that's got me a little worried is there's actually kind of a smart scope for all the guns. So it's a slight zoom for all the guns which means it's almost aiming down the sides but not exactly. It kind of just zooms a little bit closer, that's okay, don't make it so it's like Call of Duty because that's not Halo. And I, I think they're going to do fine, I'm definitely excited for December 29th, especially since it goes all the way to January 18th, that's how long the beta period is. Now, they, 3 for 3 also stated that the uh, the beta is going to run at 60 frames per second, and it's also going to run at just 720p. Now, that's a beta, so don't get all your panties in a bunch like, oh, it's 720p. Honestly, you can't really tell the difference. You, stop it. And that's going to do it for today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this video is probably going to be coming out very, very late. And hopefully it does get out before 12 o'clock. Uh, I, I had some company over today, so I didn't get a chance to work on this until now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I will see you guys on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Try not to kill anybody. And yeah, yeah all right. see you guys on Monday.